Welcome to this week's Environmental Friday, Striving for Energy Efficiency and Sustainability at Bethel. My name is David Canuti, a member of the Caring for Creation team and past facilitator of the property team. Today, we will take you behind the scenes for a look at the large machines and complex systems that light and heat our church building. These are located out of sight in the basement, up in the attic, on the roof and behind some of the seldom opened doors. Here's a short version of the tour led by our building manager, Steve Lawrence, that the property team took last week. Bethel is a large and complicated enterprise. It's 88,000 square feet, roughly equivalent to 40 houses. We spend about $104,000 per year for energy and water. Heating and cooling generate over 600 tons of greenhouse gases. As stewards for God's creation, we focus today on making our church operation efficient and sustainable. Bethel's strategic plan commits us to increase our energy efficiency and thereby reduce our environmental impact, specifically a 20% reduction in energy expenditure by 2025. But that's only a start. We're also committed to implementing the broader recommendations of our energy efficiency and condition report by Edison Energy Consultants. These measures could cut our energy expenditures and environmental impact by a third. Bethel has five major energy systems. Heating, using gas-fired boilers and heat distributed by steam and hot water. Cooling, with central chiller and cooling tower on the roof. Air handlers to distribute hot and cold air inside the building. Lighting involves 1,200 units inside and outside the building. All this is controlled by a combination of many systems and devices. We've been working on all these areas in the past year. It's a complicated job. Let's take a quick look at these systems starting with heating. Our heating system is based on a central gas-fired dual-chambered boiler. Heat is distributed to the building by steam and hot water heating systems, including 10 large air handlers, which blow hot air and 18 smaller heating units. The boiler was installed in 1963 and has operated without major repairs since then but it operates only at 80% efficiency and its failure has long been feared. A major renovation or replacement is estimated to cost about $700,000. However, according to our consultants, the two parallel boilers provide both redundancy and extend the time likely for repairs. While old, these boilers can be continuously repaired more or less indefinitely. However, the heat distribution system did offer efficiency improvements and opportunities. Last fall, when the heating system began, the steam pipes from the boiler failed and were replaced with heavy insulation added. The pumps, which send hot water to the air handlers, were replaced with added insulation to increase efficiency and reliability. Last year, when steam erupted from the return pipe, it was clear the building's 63 radiators were not functioning properly and wasting substantial heat. The steam traps on every radiator were inspected and 22 were replaced. Our cooling system operates as two loops. One loop sends cold water to the air handler, which blows out cold air and returns it to the chiller as warm water. The other loop transfers heat from the chiller to water that is cooled by evaporation in the cooling tower on the roof. Our chiller in the basement is a powerful, relatively new unit, which adjusts to greater or lesser cooling demand. Our cooling tower on the roof is an advanced design installed in 2019 with a very long warranty. It operates very efficiently and draws less water from the Madison water system. 
Our new water softeners installed last year greatly reduced harmful calcium buildup in our cooling tower, which in turn reduced total water consumption by about 20% during the summer. This shows how attention to all parts of the system is needed for maximum efficiency. Our air handlers and conditioning system depend on five giant air handlers and five smaller ones. These are supplemented by 21 other heating and cooling devices. Air handlers are very large boxes and ductwork structures with separate heating and cooling coils and large blowers to distribute air. Their complex controls allow the operator to precisely control temperature in large rooms. Our air handler number three, which serves the Emmaus room area, dates to 1963. With its old motors, obsolete control features, unfixable air intake, it's a major concern. According to our energy consultants, it is the highest priority for energy equipment replacement. Lighting is also a big part of Bethel's energy efficiency challenge. There are 1,150 lighting units inside and more than 50 more outdoors. Bethel's lighting has evolved over time, leaving a mixture of fluorescent, compact fluorescent and halogen lights. Now more than 30% have been converted to advanced LED lighting, which is much more efficient and long lasting. Directly swapping LED bulbs into older features is often impossible. A careful conversion is necessary for satisfactory lighting. Bethel still has 60 to 70% of its lighting to convert. This was the top recommendation of the Edison study, which estimated electricity savings of over 7,000 per year if completed. Bethel has been hesitant to undertake this effort, but it made a start this year by installing attractive LED lighting in Borgward Hall with a $10,000 grant from the Bethel Foundation. Harmonizing and efficiently operating Bethel's electrical heat cooling systems is especially challenging. We have dozens of control devices which are installed at various times with different technologies. The central building management system has limited coverage and is now obsolete. Better controls and smart operation can achieve important efficiency gains with limited new investment. Retro commissioning is a technical term for fine tuning with the latest control devices and smartest settings. Building manager Steve Lawrence is completing a 10 point retro commissioning program set out by our consultants with the assistance of a $10,000 grant from Wisconsin Focus on Energy. We hope that this short tour helps you understand what's happening behind the scenes at Bethel. Despite the pandemic, Bethel has not been standing still. With financing primarily from the Bethel Foundation, nearly $130,000 in projects have been recently executed to maintain and improve our energy system. More investments are needed. The conversion to high efficiency lighting is a high payoff measure and that has not yet been funded. And design work needs to start on the replacement of air handler number three before it fails. We hope Bethel's efforts to improve its energy efficiency will inspire you to evaluate your home's energy systems. A good start is converting your home to LED lighting, which is relatively inexpensive and has a big payoff. When you are in church, pick up your environmental commitment form which has several other suggestions.